The beginning of the school year is always a busy time for our friends at the junior high, and this month, junior high reporter Lexi Belot has lots of information from junior high sports, and much more in this month's junior high in review. Lexi? Hello, Red Oak Junior High. January and February have been really busy months so far at the junior high, and this month we take a look at community service electives, one-act play results, and a district championship for a 7th grade boys B team in basketball, all in this month's junior high interview. Ms. Coker, 7th period sewing class at Red Oak Junior High has started a community service elective. They are learning how to sew, make quilts, and other things for the hospitals and nursing homes. Since the organization has started, the students have made quite a few items and helped meet the need of about 300 Christmas presents for Ellis County nursing homes and hospice. All of this has been done in their free time. There have also been 25 students who have participated in Project Tribute to the Troops, one of which went to Sam Wiley's son in Korea. Some boys who enjoy quilting are making a child's quilt with applique Volkswagen Beetle car blocks. This quilt will definitely brighten up the day of a young sick boy. Our plans are to make a full-time elective out of this for the next year if everything is approved. If you have a chance, come by and take a look on what is taking place down here. You may drop in anytime. In her first year of teaching at Red Oak Junior High, theater arts teacher Miss Katrina Knight has led the Red Oak Junior High One Act play team to a second place finish in the district competition. The group performed the play The Adventures of Tom Sawyer at the district competition on February 3rd. In addition to placing second, the team also brought home an honor crew, three all-star cast members, Sergio Solis, Alan Orcutt, and Ivana Williams, and best actor Colby Kissinger. The group also performed on Friday, February 4th for the school in two performances. The play was performed for the general public on Tuesday, February 8th. The judges told the top two teams that it all came down to apples and oranges of who would win. The coin was tossed while Athens won. The judges went on to say that they could tell that Red Oak had a great teacher and that the students had learned a lot. Congratulations to Miss Knight and the entire cast and crew for representing our school so well. Basketball District Champions In junior high sports news, all our junior high teams have done a great job this season and have learned a great deal in the process. However, one team has done the ultimate. The 7th grade boys B team recently finished off an 8 win and 1 loss season in district play and are the 2004-2005 District 14-4A champions. Under the direction of Coach Jones, who is in his first year at Red Oak, the boys learned a great deal about leadership and citizenship on and off the court. Coach Jones and the other basketball coaches are following the lead of the high school basketball coaches who are bringing a winning tradition to Red Oak. Coach Jones stated, I would like to add that both our A and B teams have worked hard all year long. He said what they put into the basketball program, they got back two times that. He went on to say this is a group that will be special as they continue to develop their basketball skills and that this group is committed to excellence in the classroom and on the court. The team's theme for this season was Hawks soaring for excellence and high standards. This group has raised the expectations of what the future holds for the Red Oak Athletic Program. In closing, Coach Jones stated that he would like to say thank you to our administrators, high school coaching staff, and most importantly, our parents and students who are 100% behind the Hawks. A winning tradition is about sacrifice and commitment. All it takes is all you got. As you can see, it's really busy here at Red Oak Junior High, and we'll be looking forward to spring break next month. If you have story ideas, please leave them in the box outside Sergeant Williams' office in the library. And that's your junior high interview for this month. I'm Lexi Below. Back to you ladies in the studio. Thanks again, Lexi, for keeping us up to date on the good news from the junior high. We will look forward to hearing more next month.